Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to a, a rather wet day today. Not too bad. At least we're getting some water to fill up our storage. Now I do have it all full. That's kind of a uh, kind of an issue. So I went ahead and made a second one of the water containers. We got this one 20 of 20, and this one as well is 20 of 20. So we got plenty of water, but when the drought comes, it does happen. Right before this rain, I was having a hard time finding water. It was uh, starting to become an issue. But we got both of these out here working fantastic. Something I have noticed, though, with the water is I was wanting to just have probably one or two of these, but it's kind of nice having the littler ones out. So they fill up at about the same rate. The only thing is this one holds more. So as time kind of goes on, I'll keep the one big one, maybe two, but I want to go ahead and get a second one of the little ones, just so whenever it does start raining, it'll collect more at once, and I'll be able to fill up our containers. Something I noticed is the water has gone down. This was 50 that it was supposed to hold. Now it's down to 40, so I'm not sure if it's taking a durability hit or what the deal is. Something we'll have to kind of watch out for. As for today, we're actually making a canoe. I know, I know, it's been a very, very long time coming. Let's check this stuff. we got 11 hours on that. And we've got 17 on that. That's for our dehydrated foods and stuff. I finally got one made. Now I found more stuff over there as far as the long sticks go. Oh, dude, I'll show you. Let's get inside here where it's a little bit, a little bit drier, man. So right over here, so the water source is right here, obviously, so it's not too far from base, just for reference. Right over here is another one of the cartographer trees. Climbed up it, got some more stuff unlocked, and it looks like we've got the whole outside of the island kind of mapped out. Now there is another one of the trees over here somewhere. I saw it whenever I was up in this one. There's another tree. Actually, that might be it right there. We'll have to climb up in sometime. Yeah, that's over where our... Kind of where the big boars are and stuff. And that should map out the rest of that side of the island. And all we're missing is one over by the starting area. And there's probably going to be one over here. So the, the spyglass, I think, is up in here. Up in this area. We might go over there today. What I have planned is to actually build a canoe. We'll put it in the water. We'll test it out. Up on the coast over there is where the spyglass is. I'd like to go ahead and get that. And that'll get the current task done for us, right? For the storyline. So, let's see what we need. We're going to need a split log, some of these small sticks, we're going to need some of the tree bark, the dry hide, which we got. Oh, the rope! Dude, I tell you what, I thought I had everything farmed up for this video, but luckily the rope has respawned. I didn't want to go out in the rain, but I think we might. How is our... Our inventory is good. Let's leave some of the water here. Just for weight purposes, we are full on that. We'll take a piece of meat. That'll sort our food out. Wait, did we not? What did I eat? Oh, I ate one of those. Oh, I tell you what. That's alright. My health is pretty low. Now, I'm not too sure why my health is so low. I haven't been attacked by anything. And I'm having a hard time to get it to raise up. Even with the medical stuff. I'm not too sure what's going on. I might be bugged. And even sleeping with the fire on. It's not bringing my health up. I thought at night... Your health would go up, right, whenever you sleep, but it's, uh, it's not the case. Alright, so we need one more log, which I don't have. I'm clearing out the ones back here, so we'll grab that last one. That'll be for the split logs. And then we'll just have to go grab some rope. Okay, well, let's just take these. I don't need any of the brown ones. We've got a ton of those back in storage, and we're not really using them for anything. Our axe is almost broke, too. I'm going to have to make another one soon. I've repaired it a couple times between last video and this one. That and our hammer, I think, is getting kind of low. Or not the hammer, but the saw. Next time we make a saw, we're making a new one. Now, on that map, they show some obsidian deposits. There is an obsidian saw. So I'm guessing to mine these, we might actually need the pickaxe. I'm not too sure. That's something we'll do at a different video. But there's quite a few. There's one up here that's right by us, luckily. No, we're like right up in this area. So one up there, and then over on the coast, kind of where we started, is a bunch more. So it's going to be kind of interesting. We'll upgrade a lot of our stuff to obsidian as time goes on. Going to need some of these. I think the durability is down to half of the max on our saw now. So it's definitely not good at all. All right, let's so leave those. I'm going to run into the woods. Try to grab us a couple of the ropes. How is our... Do I have a rock on me? Let's grab a stone. That way I can repair our axe. And I just talked about making another one, but... <laughs> getting the rope 
We'll probably use all the durability on what we have left on this one, and then even the repaired one. It takes a ton of durability to get the roast. But let me grab some real quick, and then hopefully the rain will be gone, and we'll go ahead and get the canoe set out. I'm guessing we have to start building that in the water. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not exactly sure. And then we need to make sure that we make some of the repair kits as well. I think that's just like a stick and some of the plant fiber or something like that. We'll see. Oh, dude. Okay, look. Fall damage. That is a problem. So we got a problem. Kind of a major problem. Oh, wait. Our pig is still here. Dude, that's been so many in-game days. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's take all of these. We do not have enough durability left on our bone knife, and we can't make another one because... What does it cost to repair that? I can't believe that is still here. We need one bone. So, the trees, right, with the rope? I was kind of excited because they were going to respawn, and they did. With only one rope each. So, I guess they kind of get more over time. Let's... Let's do this, man. We've only got... I don't know if we need those. We definitely need this. Let's take one of those off. Harvest that. We've only got one stone, and I want to be able to use that to get our rope. Let's take out this other pig. I'm not really wanting to. But the other, right there, is the other rope tree. We need three ropes. I think I only have one at base, maybe? I've got two on me now. Let's try the bow and arrow. Sneak down. Hit him with a couple of these. We'll climb up on maybe that rock, and then we'll use the... Yep, there we go. Okay, okay, look, we'll, we'll use the... The spear. If we have to. Let a guy up, man. Let a guy up! Yep, there we go. Okay, this might be a little bit safer. I'm still getting used to the bow and arrow on this. It's a little bit different. You gotta hold down... Right mouse button. And then you have to, even though it's drawn back, you have to fire with the left one. Please don't- okay. Say, please don't fall too hard. There we go. There's two. Run, dude, run! Stamina's a thing! Oh, he's bleeding out. Can you see him? We gotta get our other arrow by that tree. All right, let's get some stamina back. He's moving slow. We should definitely use the spear, but I think it's a little bit safer with the arrow. Oh, we missed. Let's get this out. Where is... There we go. Collect you. Junior! Come here for a minute. Oh, he died! Oh, fantastic! So they do bleed. Interesting. Can we... There we go. Let's get a bone. Oh, there is no bone. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping to get a bone, and then we could use... Okay, yep. Then we could use that to repair our thing. Let's do this. Let's get our... Probably one rope from this. Oh, we got nine! Oh, fantastic! That's a good thing, but a bad thing. So let's do this. We'll harvest those two. We will repair this. I should have carried two, two of the stones, man. I really should have. The main thing we need today, though, oh, is not a scorpion. The main thing we need is the rope. I can't believe that other pig did not... Wait, did we not repair that? Oh, we got interrupted by the scorpion. Look, dude, the scorpions! There we go. I'll be taking you. So they can... <laughs> they can hit you more than once, man. I thought once a scorpion bit you, that was it. It's getting towards nighttime, too. Not a fan of being out here at night. It is. We should have a bed around here. Let's let's go up to the bed. Just north of here. We'll come back. We'll try to find a stone along the way as soon as morning hits. And we'll come back and grab this pig and the other one. That's a good bit of hiding stuff that we need. And then we'll try to jump right into making the canoe. Look, man. We have talked about this before. Every time I try to have one thing planned to do in this game, I get sidetracked. A billion other things pop up. Which is cool. However, it is frustrating. Let's sleep. Nine hours. See, our health is going up at this bed. The other bed, our health is not going up. I don't know if our bed is bugged. Maybe we prefer to sleep outside. That is a possibility, I guess. All right, I need to find a stone. So that I can repair our... Or make a blade. It'd almost be quicker just to run back to base. I know where there's some stones at up here. How is our weight? Ah, that's the one thing I'm worried about, dude, is our weight. We'll come back and grab all those... Resources from the two pigs. I mean, it's a good bit of meat and stuff, too. So, all right, give me a second. The sun is coming up. It's not raining. 
We shouldn't have any more of the snakes around here. I've kind of killed them all off. You know what? I think I picked up this big boulder that was here. Maybe? I grabbed the little ones. I know there was two little ones over here. Ah, uh, man, I did. All right, there's a Perlovia there, too. I don't want to mess with him. We got enough food back at base to cook up. I don't want stuff to start spoiling. We were so close to base, it's quicker just to run back here. Look, man, if this has to be a five-hour long video, it's going to be. We are not leaving until we make a canoe. Unless, for some reason, we're out of resources. But we should have everything. Let's leave all that in there. We'll leave some of the berries as well. And all the ropes. And the scorpion. We should be good on weight for the most part. Let's grab a bone. Repair our knife. That's a bone saw. Where is... Here it is. I think this is the first time we've had to repair that, so that's pretty good there. Alright, there's the clouds again. Do we have any water left? It was raining. We do, man. We do. Fantastic. Alright, let's drink this. Both of our canteens are full. Everything else is full. I did go over there once, whenever it first started raining the first time, to grab the water and stuff. Worked out pretty well. I got, like, a flask, and then I also filled up, you know, my regular water and came back, but it's kind of, uh... Kind of overdoing it, having our two water collectors at base, plus the fountain nearby. I guess it's kind of a good thing, right? Like I said, it's supposed to be some droughts that come through and last quite a few days. So we might be kind of taken care of. Everything evaporates is a thing. So I might make one or two more of the storage. Once we get the canoe made, right? Probably do that in between this video and next one. Make probably two more of the storage, so that way I can just fill up everything once it rains. I hear you, man. I just, I just don't care, man. I gotta get these pigs over here. Right, so here's the first one. It's going to be 35 on our durability. You know, I don't think if we would have made a stone one, we would have had enough durability to fully harvest these because it costs so much, right? I think there's a better knife, too. We'll have to see. There's got to be like an Iron Age or something. We've got that one axe that needs to be repaired. I'm kind of curious about that. Select all this. Oh, we're going to be so overweight. I don't want the trophy. We're still going to be overweight. Let's leave... Let's leave some of the meats. You know, I'm going to have to make two trips again. I'm going to have to make two trips, man. What weighs the most? That does. The boar hide. I'm making two trips. Let's go ahead and just do a little bit. That way I can run back. Come back here. That's going to be 50 off of our durability. What is all? 100. We can't even do it all with this knife. Holy crap, dude. I want the animal fat for sure. I mean, I kind of want all of it, right? All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to harvest as much as I can. Run back to base. Drop it off. Repair the knife again. Come back, and we're getting the rest of this. Going to grab it all, man. Might as well. We spent the time to take it out. Might as well grab everything from it. Next time we do anything with the pigs, I need to do two things. One, need to bring the cart. Definitely need the cart. And two, need to bring two or three of the bone knives, for sure. Or at least a way to repair them, I mean, right? I don't need to make up that many. I just need to bring enough stuff to repair them. What is that? We're going to need to harvest some of that here soon, too, just for making our medical stuff. All right, dude. I will see you back at base once I'm done harvesting. All right, dude. We have got both of the pigs. We got us a log as well. Thinking I might as well bring one as we're heading back. Now, here's the thing, man. I got an injury from the cattails. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but that is a thing. We need to make up a little bit of the medicine. We might be able to kind of heal up from sleeping and eating, though. Let's take a look over here. That is finished. Fantastic. And let's check on our dates. This should be the last batch of them as well. I think I'm missing some. I think you need three for each time we do that, right? All right, that, that's good there. Yeah, we just have one. So we're going to take those whenever we go on the canoe to the other island. It says to bring some dried food and stuff. Now, here's the thing I realized, too. Seems that we got that thing finally made. We should check out some of the sea salt because there's meats in here. Dried meats and salted lard. So those are both going to take just whatever we have for the meats and then some of the salt. So we'll try to get some of that done today too if we have a time. It's uh, not exactly the best time to do the canoe. However, we are. All right, where are we at in life? Let's get everything out of our inventory. Oh, container's full. Let's get rid of you and you and you. That's all the stuff that'll spoil. Put that in there. The fresh hide we can put on the rack to start drying. Oh, wait, we need the process hide, right?
There we go. Fantastic. I can't believe it's raining so much, man. I mean, it's awesome for water. All right, so we're good there. I grabbed a couple of these. I was trying to grab the cattails so that we can use that for tinder. And all of our storage is almost full, man. we got to do something with these trophies, too. I'm sure we can just set them up. Maybe, if I don't forget, we'll take a look at that today. We're going to need one of those to repair this. We don't need you. We do got one of these. Let's go ahead and just use this. That way we can start healing up, and we need a tiny bit of food. We'll eat both of those. Actually, we'll just eat one of them. We'll keep the other one on us. It's fine. All right, so, the canoe. Let's place it down. We can at least start getting it ready. Ah, oh, dude, I am so glad we made the dock a little bit lower. Let's turn it a little bit more. Place you there. We'll start grabbing. We need three of the ropes. We gotta make some ropes. And five of the leaves. It's just now nighttime. We'll get the ropes made. We'll take a nap. And then hopefully all the rain will be gone in the morning. All right, there's three of those. Three of those plus five more. All right, there's our ropes. We need to start the fire. Let's... We got the cattails on us. The fuel should be fine. We're just going to dry off a little bit. I tell you what, let's do this. Well, we should dry enough off quick enough. Let's go ahead. We have some food here to cook. While that's all running, we do. We do all of those. I thought I had some perlovia. We got those cooked there. We need to cook down the animal fat, too, into some oil. And I'd like to leave that thing running if we can. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. We got the soups and stuff, man. So that's going to be those plus some water. Okay. We've got... Where's the other soups at? Is it just the one? I would need another other part for that. Haven't seen those fruits yet. We haven't got any fish. There is some unlocked on the map, though, that showed up. And breadfruit. Still haven't been able to find that. But that's mixed with an egg. Interesting. Let's try this. We've got some water. We'll see what that gives us. A little bit of experimenting. Let's do all of those. And one of those. I mean, perfect time, right? It's raining, so might as well. How do we... How do we add water? How do we add water? Clean water. I have it in my canteen. Right? I've got that on us. Right here. There's no container to select. Huh, interesting. We'll have to look at that a little bit more. I'm not too sure how to... Oh, water tank. Crafting. You. Ah, there we go. Not enough fuel. Wait, how many hours? Oh, I thought it said it it's going to take 11 hours. I was like, holy crap, dude, it's going to take forever for the soup. I mean, I know it's soup, but still. I just put a bunch of those in there. Click this slowly. Do not use our good wood. <laughs> it's an issue, dude. I don't even have anything else on us. Look, I'm getting kind of shell-shocked from doing that all the time. All right, can I do two of you? Does it say the crafting time? Oh, okay, one hour and 20 minutes. Craft you. We've got those. Cook up these. Oh my gosh, dude. Six hours. We're not doing those now. We're not doing that many. We're fine, dude. We're fine. Let's save that for off camera. That is a ton of time. So what does this give us? That's going to be 29 on food. 45 water plus health regen. Oh, that is awesome. For 32 minutes plus 11. A tasty dish. 29 food, 45 water, 11 health, and in, in 32 minutes. I thought it said for 32 minutes. That's in 32 minutes. So that's not too bad, man. 
Let's eat one. We'll save the other one. How long does it last? Eight days. Ah, oh, that is fantastic. I'm going to try to do that every time we kill the pigs. We use the parts for that. That is the soup with bejeebus. <laughs> okay. The naming, dude. Let's save these for later. It's already time to sleep. Put the soup in there, too. We might take the soup with us when we go on the boats, man. Wait, can I not? There we go. I wasn't close enough. Place those. We need two of the hides. 15 tree bark. I hope I got 15. And then we need to make some more of these split logs. Let's take a nap, dude. It's nighttime. It's raining. Our water's good. Oh, speaking of water. Let's... Where's it at? There we go. Nice, man. Nice. Dude, those soups are definitely worth it. We'll leave that running, man. We'll leave that running. We're gonna do... Let's do four hours. Well, let's do five. That'll get our... So our health is going up. Maybe I just need a fire going whenever I'm sleeping. We'll let it just keep running. Open that up. Ah, oh, we've only got six bark. I need to get some more. So how much was it on the bark and stuff? We need these. Two of those. We'll just take what we have of the bark. We'll take some of those. And it's still raining. It is still raining out. Alright, so we need... Those are done. We need some more of those. We need nine more of the tree bark. And then the two logs. Nine tree bark. Let's leave that and that just for weight purposes. Luckily, the tree bark we don't have to worry about using our tools for. And you're still going. Here is our split logs. Still raining. <laughs> it's fine, dude. Let's drink a little bit. Might as well while we have it. All right, let me get... Let me get nine more of these barks. It shouldn't be too hard. I actually, I'm going to go over here. All of those mahogany trees are just right on the other side here. So I can definitely get the bark from those. And then maybe I'll bring one of the logs back with me. Just so we have one here at base. Like I said, I need to take the cart out and spend one whole day. It's kind of what it takes to fill one up because it's like an hour and a half per tree. And that way we can have some back at base. Now here's the thing too. I did go ahead and take one of our points. And put it into learning. So for some reason I was thinking that the boost for our XP, right? Our, our earn stuff. I thought it was just for these. It's also for all of our crafting stuff too. For all these. So the higher these go, the better it is, right? So for like the skinning, it, it takes less time. The cooking, it'll take less time. So went ahead and spent one of our points on that. Alright, let me grab nine more pieces of bark. We should not fall down here. We should be able to get our boat made. If the rain can let up, dude. Now we got all the bark plus a couple extra. Grabbed us a log. Something I just now realized is I never went back and got all my arrows from the pig. Which is fine. I'm not going to go back and try to find them. But that kind of sucks. I need to make sure I always grab those. We're down to four, four. So we lost two of them along the way. I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's fine. Let's get our water up. Just stopped raining. All right, so that's the last of them. We're going to need 50 durability. Let's build what we can. That's three hours and 17 minutes to build it. Build what we can. What is the repair? Oh, we're not going to do this. We're going to build another one. We are definitely building another one. I've got one of the big stones, I think, in here. It is raining again. We don't have a big stone. I think I saw one right up here. It was kind of weird. There was a big stone up here. And a Perluvia spawned on top of it, and it was doing a handstand. It was kind of weird, man. I know it was kind of just glitched out and stuck like that, but... Kind of neat. I wonder if it's still like that. It should be right up here. Somewhere. Somewhere on one of these rocks that had him. Oh, right there. Perluvia is gone, so he's probably down here somewhere. We need that for... Can we jump? We can't. We need that for making the axe head. We might be able to actually make one of the obsidian ones. I just don't want to use our one piece of obsidian. Until we have to. Yep, 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 yep. That's what you get. Nibble on me. Just got my health all the way up, too. So there's that. Oh, we need the workbench. I was going to say, let's go and just make it out here. For weight reasons. 
But I think we have to do that at the workbench, too. I need to kind of keep up with the harpy nest. We've got about six of them around here, pretty close. And don't forget, there's the kind of like the free one up in the trees. We should definitely check those because one of those recipes had eggs in it. And they last a long time. It just it costs two for each one, right? That's the only kind of downside of it. But super easy food once the harpy is dead. All right, let's make... See, there's the obsidian saw. Wait, did we need the workbench? Oh, we didn't. Okay. Thought we did. What else do we need? A rope. Oh, that's why I was repairing that one as much as possible. Because it costs a rope every time you make one. But luckily, we went out and got some. Let's leave the Perlovia in there. We will take one of you. We're going to dismantle this other one. Or disassemble. We get one stick. Okay, I mean, that's fine. It's better than nothing, right? It kind of works out. That way, all this will be done. And then in the morning, we'll put our last couple pieces there and have it built. So we're good there. We are good there. Yep, it's nighttime. Let's go ahead and finish building this. Take our first sail on it in the morning. We need to make one of the repair kits, too. Seven hours! Oh, dude, this thing takes forever, man! So, it was three and a half hours we got on the first one before it broke. This is seven hours. It's going to take all the way till morning. We're doing it, man. We're doing it. We're completely exhausted. Oh, our energy's out. Um, let's stop. We still got four hours left. Let's get some sleep. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. It's been a long day. That is a long time to build that canoe. Close you. Let's start our fire just so we can have some health regen. Let's just put a bunch of those there. Put them all. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, so that's done there. Use a cattail. Fantastic. Let's get some sleep. We're going to do six. We'll do seven. Seven hours. See, here's the thing, man. Why are we not getting any health regen? Is our food... Oh, our food's too low. Oh, dude, I keep forgetting about that. For you to have health regen, your food and water have to be up above 60. Now it should sh show us... Yep, there we go. Health. Okay, okay, that's what it is. Completely exhausted. I know, man. Let's do... Let's do seven hours. Let's do eight. It rained a little bit. I was going to say, don't tell me it's raining again. Extinguish you. However, let's double check for some water. Alright, let's finish building this. Put put the spear away, dude. Put the spear away. Four hours. That's going to put us all the way till noon. we got enough durability left. Nice, dude. It's sunny out. Oh, that is perfect. Dude, I think it looks fantastic. Why are we walking backwards? That was weird. It was, it was taking me down the ladder there. So, we got some storage back there that holds 100. That's pretty cool. Ship's protected box. I like that, man. I like that. And then we've got durability of this is 7150. Let's make a couple of the repair kits, and we might not go far. I don't know how this works if we just kind of troll around, because here's the thing. Look. On the map. We're kind of in the way. It said you can do a fast travel from here to another point. So I think we have another dock somewhere. It'll fast travel. Yeah, right here. Travel point. You need to be at the helm of a ship for fast travel. So if we have another one set up on, say, the other island, I think there's one more island we can go to, then we can fast travel to it and not have to do it by hand, which is kind of neat. I like that. I like that. It's not too bad. We need a repair kit. A primitive one, super cheap, and then we've got the improved one. Let's do this one for the moment. We need 10 of the sticks. Ooh, do we have 10 sticks? I just put a ton into the fire. We have just enough. And then how many of this was it? Now, hopefully we don't need a repair kit for our short little journey. But you never know. Better to be prepared than to be stranded at sea. Again. All right. We're kind of shy on all of our stuff. Let's leave those. No extra weight. I think we're good to go. Our food and water's fine. We're taking a soup. We'll take a coconut. We'll take some soup. 
Perfect, man. Perfect. So, where are we gonna try to head to? Stuck on the ladder again. Is right over there. We're gonna try to head over to where the... Spyglass is. Over in this area? Let's double check. Journal. The Forgotten Spyglass. So it's gonna be literally right on the corner. I still can't believe this was so close to right here, man. Oh, dude, I thought it was gonna be, like, way far away. Anyways, so right there on the corner. And let's see how this works. First of all, let's check something else out. Our food. We have 7.6 days. Wait, what? Oh, 15.2. So it does act as a food container, too. Oh, fantastic. So we don't need dried food. We can use normal food, especially with the soups, and put it in here. I'm guessing if we sink, that all gets lost. Let's put that in there so we're not holding it. Leave one of those as well. All right. Oh, there's a bed in there, too. Oh, so we can, we can sleep? Oh, dude, that's fantastic. It's like everything in one. I want to... Take the helm. It kind of sucks because we can't... We can't actually see the boat. Oh, I think it moves fast. Oh, it moves super fast! Now, don't forget that we, uh... We take durability just by using it. We're moving fairly fast, too. So we can sail away. I don't want to sail away yet. Well, let's see what he does. So there's sail away. What is it? I'm not sure what this does. We're on the bird region. Oh, we need that to go. Okay, look, we're going to save that for a different video for sure. So, to go on the expedition into this region, you need to be at the helm of a ship and have one of the following sets of items. We have the technological way, because we got the canoe. We have also have this. So we've kind of got two different ways. So I'm guessing if the raft, if we were on a raft, we need this. Right? Or this. But since we got the canoe, that kind of works. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. We'll see that, like I said, for the next video. Let's head over this way. Try to grab our spyglass. I'm sure we'll need it at the other island. So the other island that's open, I think that's where we get all of our... ...stuff from, like the, uh, the oars. So we kind of need to make a pickaxe before we head out. Oh yeah, there's the Dorado there. That's gonna be for some, I don't know if we do fishing, or we take one of the spears in the water... ...and do it that way. I'm kind of curious what's on these small islands, too. Ah, uh, dude, that's all gonna be like the next video, probably. We'll see. Maybe we'll head over to an island today. Just to see what's there. Grab some of the green... I bet it's right up there. Grab some of the green coconuts. Oh, there's a tree here. We might as well map this out while we're here, too. I am so glad it moves so fast, man. Alright, hop out there. Now, the thing is, we gotta remember where we parked this at. That's, uh... <laughs> we don't want to lose it. Let's do some mapping first. What time of day is it? It's gonna be night. Let's grab the spyglass. I'm guessing it's right up here. If we did the mapping first, it would tell us right where it is. I just don't want to have it turn nighttime. And then us go up here and have Perlovia sneak up on us. See? Right there, man. What I'm talking about! I'm glad we took the uh, canoe all the way around here, you know? Not sure what's in here. That harpy nest has me worried. Some bones. Pile of scrap. Pile of scrap. What is this? Yep, I hear you. I see you. He's coming down for us. Gotcha. Perfect. I need the parts anyways. Can you stop rolling, please? Anytime. Thank you. So dramatic, dude. So dramatic. Let's take this, and this, I do not care about the trophy. Fantastic. So what was this? A wall carving piece. Is that just to put up on our base? That's kind of neat. Let's grab this stuff out of here, too, seeing how we just killed the harpy. Like I said, man, the eggs, you get a ton of them from the nests. And it's only 10 days till it starts getting um, restored, so that's kind of kind of neat. I like how it doesn't give you everything at once. It makes you wait a little bit for it to be fully restored. We do need some more sticks. It seems how we just spin all of them. Is up here where we're going? I think so. I will take the leaves for sure. Anything that is on the ground. Oh, there's some more stuff. Wall carving. 
Oh, there's a bridge. There's a little base man. I like it, dude. I like it. There's no booby traps in here, is there? We got some rope. Fantastic. I'm glad we went to the woods to grab all that. What is this? Did I do something? There's piece two. Oh, we gotta put them in here. Is that what it is? We need one more piece there. So there's another piece of the natives map. So that's the third one we've got. There's some bones. Fish bones. Can we actually use that? Crafting resource. Oh, the fish bone needle. We need that, need that for making some of our leather stuff. Interesting. Okay, there's some stuff for some tinder. Obsidian, nice. We can actually make some obsidian stuff, seeing how we got two. We need to find the other piece. Don't want to know what happened there. The other piece of that, maybe we're off to the side here. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's some more of the living water. Fantastic. I really just want the spyglass, though, dude. That's kind of what we came here for. Shouldn't it be over here? Oh, maybe it's closer over here. Let's take a look while we're up high. There's a fishing spot right there. That's kind of cool. Right by base. Fishing spot out that way. Maybe it's over there in those rocks. The spyglass. Let's put this last piece up here. We'll take a look and see what it says exactly about the spyglass. Move too far away, I think. Wait. Are we missing one more? I thought we set the last one down. Take a look around the outside. Maybe I moved too far away too fast and it got bugged out. That's gonna suck if it did. Oh, here it is. Also some gravity there, too. <laughs> it always It always creeps up on you. Luckily, we have that perk for the fall damage reduction. Nice, man. Nice. So we got a perk point for that. That's the Song of the Fountain. And the Great Four returned, young and fresh, as if just a few days passed since they sailed off, rather than decades. And they brought happy news to the tribes. The large island was Bimini, hidden beyond the fog of the belts, its reef and currents. The island was teeming with fruits, wild animals, and plants that were rare on the islands. But the true treasure of Bimini was a miraculous fountain found by the Great Four in the heart of the island. The fountain's water cured any disease and healed any wound. But even that was not his greatest miracle. Those who drank from the fountain stopped aging for many years, staying young as if time held no power over them. It's the Fountain of Youth. Nice, man. Nice. All right. So, that is totally not what we were looking for. Reach a location near the bay. It's gotta be down there, man. It's gotta be. Let's do this. We have a bed on our boat. We're gonna do a little bit of mapping. Maybe it'll show up with the mapping. And make it a little bit easier, but it should be probably right over there in those rocks. I'm guessing it's supposed to just be setting out from what that says, I think, right? Hopefully. Maybe not. Oh, you know what? Do we have a belt rope? We don't. We need one of the things to make that end a rope. I need to start carrying a rope on us just for that reason, because with these trees around, you gotta have a rope to get up into it. Which kind of makes you wonder, right? How do you actually get up in there without the rope to put the rope? Just saying. It's a little bit weird. A little bit strange. Can a guy find some narrow leaves? Might be one right here. Perfect. Chance of injury, 14%. We need... Ah, dude. Let's sleep first. I was going to do that so that it would cut into our night. But I don't want to have to try to... Do we have the torch on us? Oh, we do. It's a wind penalty. Craft you. Perfect. Let's set this up here. We'll climb up, do our mapping, take a nap. Find our spyglass and be set for doing some water exploring in the next video. I definitely want to check out the fishing and stuff too. Maybe we'll do the actual fishing plus the... Hello? 
Is it because I have this in my hand? There we go. Maybe we'll do the actual fishing and the stuff with the harpoon in the water all in the same video. I'm hoping we get some good stuff from the fish. Alright. There's one of the bird's nests. Let's grab that stuff real quick. I still don't know if you can fall off. <laughs> I, I do not want to find out. All of you. And then... Mapping. Starts. It's too dark! Oh, you can skip time. You can skip time? No recovery. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Let's do... Yep, seven hours. Interesting! I did not know that was a thing. We're soaked. Can we do mapping in the rain? Let's see, watch us say we need to be dry. Did that really not show the rest of it up here? We did not get very much out of that at all. The main part I wanted did not even show up. Boy, I tell you what. Look. It's not a good start, man. I guess a, well, good start to a day, good end to a video. We're finding the spyglass. We gotta find the spyglass. I'm gonna head over to those rocks. We'll see what we can find. We sacrificed our good sleep to be in the tree. That didn't even work. So it just said, mission passed. The search by the bay. Oh, wait. Now I need to wait for nighttime. And find the place where the fireflies, fireflies fly. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a tongue twister there. <laughs> now I need to wait for nighttime and find the place where the fireflies fly. That place should be near the spyglass. Okay, we gotta, we gotta waste some more time again, dude. So that's a fishing spot. Let's head over here where that first popped up, where it said we've uh, reached our location. And I want to take and turn these into stones. Maybe that'll give us some more weight. A little bit of science, so we're at 36. Did that change? It's the exact same. Okay, that's a thing. All right, let's uh, wait for nighttime. We're gonna do eight, nine. We'll do ten hours. We're gonna be low on food and water. Right here, we were literally right by it. Oh, there's a spyglass. Nice man, nice. New goal: view from the mountain. Climb to the white sign. I'm guessing that's going to be the sign that is over that way, that we can kind of see from our base. Looks like I found the mountain pass. I'll try to reach the top of the mountain near that white sign. Okay, so that's what we'll do later. Ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day. Good place to end it, right here by the fireflies. We got a good bit of progress made today. We got some more area mapped out. We found the stuff that was up there. We got some more of the obsidian shard, and we got the canoe. I need to remember to take that back to base. It's over here. Next video, we'll do some more exploring. We're going to head over to the other island. I want to try to get a pickaxe made. We'll head over there, try to get a dock set up for fast travel, and kind of see how that works out. So I'm pretty excited about that. We also got fishing coming up here soon, too. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.